Hello everyone, today we're going to answer question 5 from chapter 4, so let's start reading. A piston cylinder device initially contains 0.07 meter cubed of nitrogen gas at 130 kilopascals and 120 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to write this information down here. V1 is equal to 0.07 meter cubed. Okay, P1 is equal to 130 kilopascals. Okay, and T1 is equal to 120 degrees Celsius. The nitrogen, notice that uh, we're dealing with nitrogen here. Okay, this is important. The nitrogen is now expanded holotropically, and this is also important. We're going to deal with it in just one minute. The nitrogen is now expanded holotropically to a state of 100 kilopascals. So we know that P2, let me write that in another, in another color, P2 is equal to 100 kilopascals and 100 degrees Celsius. So uh, T2 is 100 degrees Celsius. Determine the boundary work. We are dealing here with work during done during this process. Okay, let's uh, discuss what polytropically actually means. And you have to know that when you're dealing with polytropically, a polytropic process is a pro is a process that follows the following relationship. Okay, this relationship. P1, V1 to the N is equal to P2, V2 to the N power. So this is a polytropic process. And you know the, the work done for most polytropic processes from 1 to 2 is equal to P2, V2 minus P1, V1 all over 1 minus N. This is the work for any polytropic process that has an n not equal to 1. Okay, This is an important condition because if n is equal to 1, then the entire term is going to infinity and we don't want that. Okay, I'm going to see what we have and what we don't have. We have P2. Okay, we don't have v2 here but we have p1 and we have v1 let's try finding v2 and we can find v2 uh using or yeah using the ideal gas law because remember nitrogen can be treated as an ideal gas law and we have this relationship for the ideal gas law p1 v1 over t1 is going to be equal to p2 v2 over t2 this is the relationship derived from the ideal gas law okay and only valid for ideal gases nitrogen is is ideal gas in this case so now Let's plug in the numbers because we know most of yeah we know most of the variables here except P2. So P1, which is 130, V1, which is uh, 0.07, T1, which is 120 degrees Celsius. But remember to add. 273 degrees to there because we are dealing with Kelvin and not Celsius. Okay, make sure to remember that. Uh, don't forget that 100 degree, uh, 100 kilopascals for P2, V2 we don't know it, and T2 is 100 plus 273. Again, because we are dealing with Kelvin, and let's. Let me plug in these numbers real fast on my calculator to find uh, V2. So, so here, 
divided by um, this number. Okay, multiplied by 373 divided by 100. And that's what we get 0 0.08636. 0 0.08636 okay a meter cube that's v2 okay so now we have v2 what we don't have is n but remember we have this relationship up there that we can use to find n but in order to make this relationship pluggable on the calculator. Okay, I'm going to rewrite things in terms of n. So n is going to be equal to log of, of um, let me see, of p1 over p2 divided by the log of v2 over v1. Okay. And this is n. This, this relationship will give us n. Let me plug in the numbers to, to find n. So, um, okay, so the log, where's the log? Oh, here's the log. Log of p1, which is 130 divided by 100, equal, divided by log of v2.0686 uh, div sorry 36 divided by 0 0.7 0 0.07 give us the answer of 1.249 1.249 so this is going to this is equal to 1.24 9. This is n. Now we have everything. We even have n. So we can now plug in this, these data into, into the relationship here. So, uh, or into this formula. Work from 1 to 2 is equal to p2 of uh, 100 v2 0 0.08636 minus p1 which is 130 um oops uh 130 um and uh v2 or sorry v1 is is 0 0.07 Divide that by 1 minus 1.249. And this should give us the answer that we are looking for. Okay. So plugging in the numbers here. B6. Um, 130. Minus 130 times 0 0.07 divided by 1 minus 1.249. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. But here is the answer. It's 1 point, almost 1.8. 1.8. 1.86. Okay, so this is almost 1.86. And don't forget the unit work. The unit is joules, but since we are dealing with kilopascals throughout, uh, we we have to put kilo joules. Okay, so this is the the answer. This is the answer that we have. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next time.